Welcome to the Smart Pianist app. Let's see how easy it is to use it. Let's start by swiping left or right in between the CFX and the Bosendover, or even the other sounds. Change your reverb setting by typing on the upper right corner, for example, Cathedral, Club, and so on. Tap upper left to open the menu. Then choose Voice to see all the other sounds. Tap in the middle and for example choose Electric Piano and the legendary DX7. Check all the other sounds like harpsichord, organ, pad and the layer sounds. On the very top you can define favorites. When you chose a sound, you can for example change the reverb. Click on the upper right little wrench icon and change the depth and the type of the reverb. Let's check out the song menu. And here I will show you the 50 classics books. For example, let's choose the blue one and choose All to Joy. Now you're not only able to listen to the song, but also see the sheet music with it. With the three sliders on the left side, you can for example change the volume or tempo. And you can even transpose the song. Note that not only the piano is changing the key, but also the sheet. Really great for practicing. Under the 50 classic books, you got the demo songs of the piano, your music library which connects to iTunes, and the user songs which are your own songs which you can record in the piano. To make your own recording, press the record button down left, then in the new pop-up window you can rename your song. Let's put in my song for now. And then press record and play. Press again the red record button to stop the recording. And now before you save, you can listen to it. If you like what you hear, you can press save. Press the menu button and let's check out the utility. There's a couple of things we can do here. Very easily we can transpose the whole keyboard just by tapping on it. The tuning page is great if you want to adjust the tuning of the module to the tuning of the piano. You can even select different scale tunings. In the keyboard setting we can adjust the velocity behavior. Also pedal settings, sound settings, and lastly, in the system settings, you can find your basic operations, like recording format, your Dropbox login, and so on. When playing a sound, you can adjust different settings in the upper right corner. There's the touch curve with predefined settings like medium, hard, or soft. Under environment, you can adjust the amount of the reverb and of course the type. You got your master tune, the VRM where you can adjust the string resonance and many other settings to adjust the sound to your liking. Under each key setting, this is where it gets really deep. You can adjust the tuning and the volume of each and every key.